What's going on guys, Zyko Paradox here bringing you another video. Today what you're going to be watching is the Oryx Checkpoint from the King's Hall Raid in Destiny the Taken King. I've had a lot of fun with this DLC. I've got all three characters to over 300. My max is my Hunter at 305 with like five of my pieces being 310. I just have a few pieces that are kind of low that are kind of like making me a little over late. Hopefully I can grind those out this week sometime and maybe get my Hunter to a light level where I can do the hard mode raid with ease. Because you need about 310 light to complete the hard mode raid, you can do the hard mode raid without 310, but once you get to the final boss, 310 is absolutely needed from what I've been told. I haven't tried it yet, but being that I have a lot of friends that do play Destiny, some of them that have already completed the hard mode raid, and I do watch some people play Destiny, live streams, YouTube, such as that, um, I'm going to believe that 310 is definitely needed. Um, I'll definitely tell you guys. And I'll definitely record it to be able to post the hard mode raid. The reason I didn't post the whole full normal raid is some of my footage got like cut and I just didn't have it. And I figured Oryx is kind of the one that people get stuck on a little bit. The, the Golgoroth one as well, but I plan I figured the Oryx one's the more popular one to see, so that's why I'm posting this one. Um, you can see how we did it. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. It's the way most people do it. I haven't really seen anyone else do it except for that one raid group that did two man the raid. And shout out to them, I don't actually know their names, but they are absolute monsters because there is no way I had wanted to two man the Oryx checkpoint of this raid. We had a difficult time the first time we did it to do the whole thing, let alone two manning it, and we had six people. Now it's more of an ease, I have it pretty much down pat, so I can do it in about 45 minutes the whole raid. And it's not bad at all, but when we first tried it, I think we were on the first our first run of it for like eight hours or something like that. It just took us forever. We couldn't figure it out, and there was a lot of mechanics we just couldn't get down. And that's the biggest thing is mechanics. This whole raid is pretty much about communication. The gun skill is somewhat necessary, but for the most part, as long as you and your fire team can communicate, you can pretty much do the raid with it pretty much a lot of ease like there's not a whole lot of things inside of it that are difficult if you have good communication and once you get the mechanics down mechanics is the big thing the hard mode i don't really know i can't speak for that but i know in normal mode it's pretty much mechanics and a lot of just communication with your teammates so like if you have a good fire team you'll be fine and lfg is a good place to find a fire team if you don't have one you go on there you post that you're looking for a a team to do the raid you do the raid and sometimes you get good teams sometimes you bad but a lot of the times with my experiences you get a good team there isn't a whole lot of times where I got a bad team in the LFG websites destinylfg.net destinylfg.com there's forums on Bungie's website for the same thing and I really have never had a bad exp I've had a couple bad experiences for the most part though I have good experiences with LFG it's actually a very very viable way to get a fire team so, if you're looking for a fire team, you don't have any friends that are playing Destiny, at destinylfg.com, destinylfg.net are definitely viable sources to get a fire team going. I do believe destinylfg.net is run by Planet Destiny, who is my go to source for Destiny news, content, how to do things inside of Destiny, exotic quests, videos, live streams. I really like Planet Destiny as a source. Go check them out, you can find them pretty easy on their website or their YouTube channel. This seems more of like a shout out, but like it's literally a very good, very, very good way to find Destiny news. And that's how I use, that's who I think everyone should use. They're very, very good at what they do. Um, they're well put together, their website's well put together. They put a podcast every week, the Destiny news, they talk about it. And I really, really do like their stuff. That's how I get all my Destiny news, and I do play a lot of Destiny. I have about 600 hours in the game, which I'm sure isn't even close to some people, but for the amount of time I've played the game, I think it's a lot of hours. I'm going to try and hit 1,000 hours sometime, like that's my goal is to hit 1,000 in this game, because I really, really do enjoy the game and the MMO feel it has. I know it's not technically considered an MMO, but I think it has a very good MMO feel, and I'm really liking that. And I might start playing some more MMO type games, just because I'm really liking the grind factor of it. Like Diablo 3, I think is definitely a viable game that I might be playing soon, just because I like the MMO feel, I like the grinding of it, and I like the fact that you can build your character. Like, there's different stats on different gear, and depending on how you build it, it depends on how your character does and how well your character does against someone else. And with Halo 5 coming out, I haven't decided yet, it's actually coming out as we speak, 
And I haven't decided if I'm going to buy it yet and do the campaign or not. But from what I've been told, what I've heard, it's a very good game. I have a few friends that bought it that are grinding it as we speak. And I'm probably going to end up buying it at some point. Well, Black Ops 3 right around the corner and me being a competitive COD player from my roots, there's a good chance I'll have Black Ops 3 during the release, if not very soon. And I'll be posting it very, very often. Probably I'll switch over to Black Ops 3 content for a little bit. I'll still be posting Destiny, but Black Ops 3 will definitely make its way in there. Again, I'm still editing the setup video because there's some stuff I want to do. Day in the Life video will be coming soon. I'll be posting those. And as always, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.